All right, so today we're playing X Factor on Chimps mode. This is one of the more difficult maps in Balloon City 6. And as you guys can see, I have this thing black bordered, but I wanted to replay it again and I wanted to see if my strategy still works. And then maybe we can switch something up because I don't exactly remember how I did it. I mean, I know that I used the uh, the Melopath Snipers and I had Jural as a hero. I just don't remember what the game winning tower afterwards was. So uh, I don't know, maybe we can make something happen, you know, with the, with the spikes and stuff like that, because that seems to be like a very nice tower. So I did already kind of play through and uh, this seems to be very important actually for the first round so that you get uh, the you get the dart in this spawn basically and when it shoots the dart down the down the line it hits both of the green blooms and makes them into blues and then that allows it to uh oh and that was uh, that might be actually important as well the the double snipe there is he gonna win like this oh no wait a minute oh my god you did no way that just happened oh my lord what is that a thing I, I never noticed that okay so one of these rounds i don't remember which one is it gonna be this one or the next one uh we we're probably gonna lose i think it's gonna be the yeah, it's gonna be this one okay so let me just get like a dog monkey i remember buying a dog monkey over here and just the early game with this one is probably the i, I don't want to say that the early game is the most difficult one but it's kind of you know it's kind of annoying until you, you figure out what you need to do but at the same time it's not as tricky as you would expect it, at least that's not what I found. So uh, I think during this round, we're going to save enough money for the ninja. Then once you get the ninja, you go for the bottom path. Uh, you get the seeking shuriken. And after that, it should be smooth sailing. So first off, let me have the ninja like this. So that it covers both of the tracks. And actually, it was a really nice change that they did with the seeking shuriken, which gives extra range now. The range used to be locked uh, onto the ninja discipline. All right, so for round 14, we can just get a sniper. We can get it on strong. And then the idea for this round, for round 14 and for round 15, uh, is that we're going to have, you know, these big balloons like the yellows and the pinks on the next one. And you just want to kind of weaken them a little bit uh, just so they are slow enough, right? Because by popping them, you're slowing them down essentially so that our other towers can do a little bit of damage. And I think that this should be fine. I'm really looking to get Gerald as soon as possible. So I don't want to be... I should have all the off actually. Let me just do that. And uh, let's see how we do onto this one. So the pinks are obviously going to be the most uh, annoying thing to deal with. And that's why you have the sniper here. And oh my god, never mind. We're leaking actually. I mean, let's just give this thing a second chance and maybe we can go on first with the sniper so that we catch some of these super fast leaks. And I think, oh, actually, I actually think this is it. Oh, you know what we could do? We could actually have this dog monkey on strong. So it focuses down the uh, the pink blooms as well and helps us out a little bit. And oh my God, what am I doing with the targeting? I switched it to last for a second, but that seemed to have done it actually switching this dog monkey to strong because it's going to pop one of the, it, well, the round already ended, but it popped one of the pink blooms and that I guess alleviated some of the pressure onto the sniper. And uh, yeah, that's that's that round done. So we should have the money for Jirao. So I'm just going to buy him real quick because this is a short round. I'm going to have him like this. So he does a lot of attacking as well onto both of these tracks. And there we go. We are on, guys. Okay, so what's the plan for the next three rounds? Well, first off, a ninja discipline into the sharp shurikens. And then, uh, you know, the strategy is going to be just getting to the millipad sniper. But before we get to the millipad sniper, we are... Is this going to be... Oh my god, these rounds are just ridiculously close. Is it going to be like this the entire game? I hope not. So uh, let's see how we do on 21. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so maybe switch the sniper to like first. Is that going to be a good idea? I think I switched it and I think we actually do have this round. Yeah, the ninja is just carrying these early rounds. So let me just do this. Let me get the thorn swarm just so we get a little bit of extra thorns onto these guys. And let's switch it to strong. Oh, we have to do something about this one. Okay, so let's try it like this. Let's buy the Thorn Swarm. Let's switch the Sniper to Strong. And let's buy the Caltrops. Because that's the only thing that we have money for. And let's see if this is going to be enough. The Caltrops are like plus 3 damage in total. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if we just get lucky and we drop some on top, some on bottom. It should be fine. And... Oh my god, that wasn't even close. What? Should I have bought the couch up a little bit earlier, actually? Because this seemed to have made all the difference. All right, I will absolutely take that. So 1.1k finally drew to the jungle. Things should become a little bit more stable, at least for the next few rounds with this upgrade. And then we need the hard thorns as soon as possible because we don't have any other lead popping power for now. So uh, let me just buy this thing and just get ready for it. And yeah, look at this thing. I mean, it's only, you know, I, I don't usually like buying this drew to the jungle thingy when you have tracks with, uh, more, when you have maps with multiple tracks. But I guess this is just such a nice tower that it it just works on this one right now let's see how we're doing so maybe i should you know I, i'm just kind of thinking of switching the druid to strong because the vine targeting follows the uh the druid targeting because we have zebras from this round maybe you know we can kind of focus down the zebras but it doesn't seem to be necessary i mean the ninja plus plus a little bit of the shrapnel plus a little bit of the druid they seem to be holding on for these early rounds and honestly i'm not even complaining we're gonna have the money for the frizz bouncing bullet now and once we buy this thing this is gonna get a lot more stable yeah there we go and uh the way that i want to deal with the round 40 moab is i want to maelstrom it but maelstrom 
consuming it is not gonna pop the entire thing. And so I was thinking of maybe getting an alchemist for this sniper because we are gonna have an alchemist anyway, so might as well buy it now. And let me buy it and let's, uh, let me drop this thing, which is gonna be the maelstrom. And I really hope that this is enough. I mean, this thing is not even popping. Is it gonna pop? I mean, it was a late pop. But, no, it's super close, but I, you know what? I think if we glue it the back, that should be enough, right? Let's just try the same thing. So let's just get the Maelstrom done. This is just a 200 Alchemist. I'm going to keep it like this. We... Oh my god, we don't have the money for the Berserker Brew. You guys see this? $50. Okay, let's just glue it. Oh my god, that's super close. Let's just glue it like this. I think it should be fine. And let's see if this is going to be enough now. It's super close, but I think we do have it. Yeah, it was just the glue that we needed. Oh my god, $50. Can you believe that thing? Okay, so I got 220 Alchemist. This is going to make this sniper super strong. And then I'm looking to buy the second sniper now, actually. Uh, because it is making me feel a lot better when I have two instead of one. I would normally do this with one sniper, but this is just like... The way this map goes, you know, you can never be too so let's just buy the second one under the discount village and now that means that we have to buy the strongest stim and also this is a very important thing by the way with the sniper strategy that you need to have a top at sniper which is something that you would normally have for round 40 and i didn't but i'm gonna buy it because it's very important you want to have a main moab sniper okay so now for the third sniper i want to have it under the range of a discount village but not uh, getting buffed by the not getting buffed by the alchemist so it's gonna have to go like this uh, and this one is going to be set on strong. So here's the catch with this uh, third sniper that you're buying. This one is going to be a... It's going to start with, as a 3. I'm going to... You know what? Let me just save a little bit of money. It's going to be a 420. And so the idea is that you want to have this guy on strong. You get the main Moab. And because these small snipers, they don't do any damage to Moab class Luna, this one is just going to hold them in place. And then also deal a little bit more damage. But this is around 49. And do we even need to watch this thing? Honestly, I don't think so. I think the round just disappeared thanks to these snipers. This strategy is so good. And I still haven't even used the sharpening stone on any of them. Which is good, by the way, because we're saving this money. We, we just need the money for the late game. Round 55, a bunch of ceramics. We don't seem to care with the small balloons as usual uh this is gonna be by the way the case with 56 as well and then 57 should be an interesting one but we're gonna have the money for a supply drop which actually makes the uh, the shrapnel a little bit stronger so let's buy this thing as the supply drop and then next up is gonna be the elite sniper okay so here we go 63 let's see how we're dealing with these guys so the snipers do not have uh neither a jar of pickles onto them neither uh they, they don't even have a sharpening stone and they seem to be absolutely destroying round 63 oh my god what look at these guys go I thought that I was at least gonna have to like drop both of these things, but apparently not. And you know what? Just not spending the money is is, is actually really good. I mean, wait a minute. Do we even have to go for the elite sniper now that I think about this? Because these guys are a little bit stronger than I thought. <laughs> so <laughs> can we skip the elite sniper? Is that a thing? Okay, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go for it. Right, let's try and skip the elite sniper. You know, this, this strategy usually involves getting the elite sniper, but let's just try and skip it. So let me have the spike factory like this. You want to have it under the range of a discount village, but I kind of wanted dropping spikes on both of the tracks. So let's just start with a uh, just all like this just as a spike storm and then we're gonna see where we where we are at with this carpet of spikes I mean, honestly, so far, so good. Not that many problems into these rounds. I mean, some of them have actually been kind of close, but nothing has leaked so far. I mean, maybe this one is going to, because we're going to have a bunch of these small ceramics that are going to get progressively stronger. But yeah, we're going to have a BFB now and fortified ceramics. So maybe these guys are going to leak or something like that. But we do have the Spike Storm ability. Now, the thing is, I don't want to use the Spike Storm ability on this round. I want to save it for 75. And let's see how we do. Let's just chill on this one and let's just not do anything. We can do the Sharpening Stone. We can do the Jar of Pickles, by the way. Way, so we do have options i just want to chill and see oh my god this is so close yeah we we leaked okay let's try this thing again but let's do something like just something super simple like a glue on one side because i don't want to be doing again sharpening stones too if you buy them that's like 430 dollars plus two pickles that's 220 so let's see if just like a, a glue that costs 110 dollars is gonna fix this Giralo just eats your money up and i i'm you know i'm scarred from using Giralo because he can be such a nice hero but at the same time he can just lose you all the money if you're not careful so let me just try it with the glue and if the glue doesn't work then we're obviously gonna get the jar of pickles and the sharpening stone but so far i think this is actually working I think, oh my god, it actually worked. There we go, $110, that's all it took. All right, I will absolutely take that. So round 75, we need to time the ability, by the way, on this one. I don't want to be spending any more money, honestly, on <laughs> Gerala and his stuff. So let's just let these guys do their thing. And uh, I'm kind of watching this sniper, actually, because he's holding on to uh, these BFBs. And the, the other snipers are taking care of the small balloons. Look at that. Uh, we do have the Spike Storm ability, so you know what? I'm just probably going to, I'm just probably going to use it. Let's use it like this. Let's vaporize these guys. And if the round ends quickly enough, the spikes are going to remain on the track and we're gonna do a little of damage to 76 how are we doing 
Did I actually get the best timing in the world? I actually did. I can't believe this thing. Oh my god. Everything is going right this run. It's actually insane. Well, okay. Let me retract that. Not everything is going right because we had to restart in a bunch of routes, especially the early game. But so far, this is just far less trouble than I anticipated before starting this. <laughs> and look at this thing. Round 77. It's going to get close as usual. But you know what? I trust the snipers. You guys see this at the bottom? I trust them. Nothing's going to leak. They're just way too good. Yep. We absolutely have this thing, and you know what? We have the ability for 78, which we probably don't need to use, but I'm going to use it anyways just to kind of kind of wipe these guys. And yes, there we go. And we have $30,000. Let's say we finish this round with like $31,000. Around 70, 79 makes a lot of money, like 5 to 6K. So we should probably end the 80s with about thirty-six, thirty-seven thousand dollars $37,000. And that means that during round 81, we should have the money for the carpet spikes, which is actually really soon. And then once we get this thing, it's probably, it's not going to be game over. We're going to need to pay attention, but things are going get so much easier it's actually insane okay so these guys seem to be struggling uh, on to round 79 and the problem is actually if you guys can see here at the bottom we have some zebras forming and the thing with those zebras is that they are getting created from the shrapnel and they're regrowing that's what's what's essentially just kind of bothering these snipers but they seem to have cleared it out and now we have a spike storm ability ready to go so I'm just watching these bfbs at the top i'm going to use the ability and i hope that we defend the small balloons up top so watching the top first and yes, we defend it now watching the left track, the top left track. And I think we, yes, we have this. And look at the money, $39,000. That was actually a couple thousand dollars off. So it's round 81. And during this round, we should have the money for the carpet of spikes. It, once we buy this, we're going to have an automatic ability get dropped. So, you know, there's this even that much more leeway and room for error. But let's just play this thing right. So I want to switch this thing to first now. I'm going to use the ability. And I'm just looking for $43,200. That's it. As soon as we hit that mark, oh my my god we actually are we leaking forty two thousand nine hundred twenty nine dollars so we are two hundred and seventy one dollars off of the carpet of spikes i can't believe this okay you know what i'm actually gonna do this because this round makes a lot of money i'm gonna genie this round and then i hope that we should have the money either when this round ends or when the next one starts so let's just genie it up let's just have all these by the way i'm still gonna have this guy in first by the way this sniper uh, because the shrapnel is gonna be stunning the moss which you actually needed to do now and i'm probably gonna keep it on first Probably not during the entire run, but we should we should kind of take care of it. And how is the money looking? Let me just use a couple of spikes because the bottom track is not looking too good. And does the genie have it? I'm spamming it. Yes, I bought it. There we go. Okay, we got it finally. And now with this tower, things should have a uh, thing should should take a little bit more of a different turn because of this passive ability getting thrown around. And you know what? I was having my second thoughts, but I'm actually gonna buy it. Let's just get the elite sniper. Let's switch it to first. And now all these guys are gonna become so much stronger. But I I do want to come back to. Buy Buying the glue on the right side as well uh, and then after buying the glue you know we can just finish the game up with something like i don't know like the genies and stuff like that but let's just chill for now uh, it's around 89 and so we need to do a couple of things actually around 91 so uh first off round 90 the first dds which we don't care about because we have the carpet of spikes and then as soon as this round ends yeah there we go i, I didn't even see the dds thanks to your carpet of spikes but yeah it's round 91 so let me do the sharpening stone onto both of these guys do we want to buy one more sniper actually you know what i'm probably even gonna do that Let's just buy a third sniper because this is how the strategy goes, usually. And let's give the sharpening stone to this guy as well. Okay, so because Jural is going to restock on the next round, I want to spend as many of, the, of his items in the shop. So I'm actually going to give the genie, uh, not the genie, but the, the hot sauce to uh, all three of these guys, guys on the side. And then because it's going to restock, we're going to have the full stock uh, on round 93. And this round 94, let me buy the relentless glue. Actually, we're about to have the money for this thing. Let me use the active ability just because we can. And look at these rounds go guys i mean this sniper strategy is so good and i still haven't even used the jar of pickles by the way which you know i don't know if you guys are gonna <laughs> gotta use this video to to beat your own uh, x factor on chimps i'm not sure if this is going to give you the black board maybe you know it can be refined and it can be better for sure but this is a strategy that once you i, I guess once we stabilized once we got the millipad sniper it was kind of smooth sailing right it was just the early game so round 95 we're gonna have the ddts this is gonna be the huge ddt round as usual and i don't think we're gonna have any issues with this round i should probably switch this guy to strong for now and then we should get him to to first in the next few rounds but yeah we're making a lot of money nine thousand dollars and this is all just gonna be money that's gonna get spent onto the genies i guess for the last few rounds so uh, for this one it's gonna be 96 and 97 i'm probably gonna drop both if we deal with these rounds i'm just probably gonna drop both genies on like 98 something like that but let's just watch oh wait a minute wait a minute did i speak too soon 
because these drones are getting a little bit farther than I would like them to. Although, if we deal with these guys on the on the right side, then we... Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're fine. Okay, there we go. Dude, that scared me for a second. I Maybe, you know you know what it is? It's probably having this sniper on strong. So, let me just kind of switch it to first, because those Moavis would have been stopped in their tracks. But at the same time, those ZMGs would not have been held in place like they would. So, uh, what essentially this sniper did is he separated the round for us. He uh, kind of had the ZMGs at the back, and we had the, uh, the Moavis up front, which we were dealing with. But, yeah, this is going to be round 98 starting in a second. And so, for this one... I Ah, you know what? We could just drop both of the genies, right? We don't even care. So these guys are going to last for two rounds, which is going to be 98 and 99. And we are probably going to need all the damage that we can take for this one because this is the beefiest round in the game. So uh, I'm going to use the active ability now. We do have Reach of Potion. We have a bunch of cash, by the way. So I, I guess we could have bought something like a 024 more or something like that. But we should be more than enough just because two genies are just super strong, guys. These genies are like the, the secret weapon in Jurala's shop with the caveat that even though it's like $2,000, they only last for two rounds. That's the thing. That's how they balance them out. But uh, round 98 is just getting decimated by these genies and they're all also gonna stay here for round 99 and then for round 100 we have the carpet of spikes which is gonna drop the spikes here onto here's where the bat is gonna come out from by the way the bottom left because this is the primary track and there goes round 99 not even close <laughs> and with about $30,000 left over let's just spend some of our cash so let's buy do we buy the super glue I don't think it's necessary <laughs> let me just use the active ability let's just get the regif use the ability again and then I'm gonna regif again so that I use the ability again and this should be yeah there we go this should be more enough let me just maelstrom once so that we deal with all these guys on the inside and there it is oh four zero zero actually look at this a fourth tier insta how often do you see that thing so let's check the pop counts but before we do what's the the tower that you guys think has the most amount of pops it, it has to be the carpet of spice followed by this guy right so let's just check 743,000. and this guy's at 544 so maybe if we you know sharpened him earlier plus jar of pickles he would have had a little bit more and uh yeah there we go x factor on chimps mode i mean not as difficult as i remember it to be honestly once you figure out the early game that's probably you know kind of once you stabilize with the snipers in this case uh we had a little bit of trouble on the early rounds restarting but all in all it wasn't as bad as i remember it to be but that's gonna be it for this one hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you on the next one